Peter Peterson of the Conference Board seeing risk to those numbers. Evidence of sustained disinflation is needed for comfort that a return to target and staying there is possible. Risks of a pickup in inflation are present, especially from a tight labour market and elevated wages. Dana, I'm pleased to say, joins us now for more. Can we go straight to those revisions or lack thereof? Your response to them in the last couple of minutes. Sure, I agree. It certainly is a nothing burger, and that is good news. Um, but again, as Mike McKee mentioned, the Fed is focused on PCE inflation. And it's good to know that we don't have lingering concerns about whether the CPI is breaking away from what we've seen in the PCE. And certainly when we look at the PCE deflator, it's slowing. It's above 2% target, but it's headed in the right direction. Dana, your take on just what you're looking for to understand whether the inflation genie has truly been slayed or the inflation dragon. I assume people don't want to slay genies. But how much are you seeing this actually as a done deal versus still concerned about a couple areas? Um, I think much of the Fed speak in terms of wanting to see sustained disinflation in order to get back to the 2% target sustainably is important. Um, when we look at some of the details of, of inflation, yes, um, home prices have, 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 have eased and that's showing up in rents and the shelter costs. But when you look further out, they've picked up. And so that poses some risk later this year and even into next year. But more importantly, wages are still elevated. And we're seeing them rise, especially in those sectors like manufacturing construction, where there's a lot of demand and you have to show up for work. So I think wages are continue will continue to be an upward pressure that the Fed's going to have to watch. So it's important to have more readings and maybe getting into the springtime to feel confident such that the Fed can start cutting rates maybe around June. Can you give us a sense, based on the increasing confidence that you track, given the fact among consumers, given the fact that you are concerned about some of these areas that are still elevated in terms of inflation, how many times you think the Fed could cut rates this year versus where the market's at? Sure, we think the Fed could probably cut rates four or five times this year. That's roughly 125 basis points. And um, that would be reasonable, um, especially given the fact that the economy is doing better than expected. We still think there could be somewhat of a lull, maybe not a recession, but inflation should probably continue to, to slow. But again, we have a number of risks out there, both to the upside and the downside. But I think that certainly 125 basis points this year is possible.